And in uh, this problem, we're going to be trying to find the uh, absolute min and the absolute maximum. And uh, we've got f of x equal to x cubed minus 12x on this closed interval between negative 6 and 2. And uh, we've got the graph uh, drawn out, which is a whole lot easier to look at. Now, as you can see, we've got this green dot here. And uh, this looks like about the maximum uh, point, that is the, the uh, y value, is, uh, is larger than all the other y values between negative 6 and 2. And it looks like it, uh, when x is equal to negative 6, uh, you're going to have uh, an absolute minimum. But uh, to actually prove this, we need to plug uh, both endpoints in. So we're going to evaluate f of negative 6. So we have negative 6 cubed minus 12 times negative 6. And uh, after crunching through that, you should get negative 144. And we need to try the other side. f of 2. And so that means you're going to go 2 cubed minus 12 times 2. And uh, working through that, you should get negative 16. Now, we need to find this y value here. And that's uh, when the tangent line at this point is 0, and so we need to find what that critical value is, and that is we need to first find the derivative. So f prime of x is equal to 3x squared minus 12, right? And the slope is 0. We have 3x squared minus 12 and then solving for x. So bringing the 12 over, we have 3x squared, and then dividing both sides by 3, or you're really multiplying through by 1 third. So we end up with 4 is equal to x squared. Therefore, x's are going to be plus or minus 2 when you square root both sides and then you take the plus or minus. So we need to find to evaluate both of these. Now, we've already tested 2, but we need to test negative 2. So f of negative 2. So we have negative 2 cubed minus 12 times negative 2. And we crunch through that either in our head or using a calculator. And we get 16. Now, we got 2 and negative 2. And we can clearly see that right here the derivative is 0 also. The slope of the tangent line at this point is going to be 0. That's the reason we ended up with uh, two critical numbers at 2, at negative 2 and 2. But uh, we can see at negative 2 there's a maximum. When x is negative 6 there's a minimum. And uh, just highlighting the uh, important numbers here that we need to look at, which was negative 16, negative 144, and 16. So the largest one of these, the largest one is going to end up being our positive 16. So our absolute maximum, absolute maximum is going to occur at negative 2, 16, 
in our absolute minimum. is going to occur at negative 6, negative 144. And of course, we can go now back to our graph. And uh, this is supposed to be negative 144 here. And even though it doesn't really look like it, let's see, this is negative 150. Um, hmm. I guess I needed to bring my dot up a little bit higher here. Yeah, I was just trying to get close. Okay, and that uh, that concludes this problem.